What's the moment in your career that you're most proud of? It's funny because they're happening still in a way. I love that. And I, I talk about that in the book. You know, there's, in fact, in the book, there's a chapter where I talk about learning to become grateful. And a lot of it has just happened over the last five, seven years, really. Um, but I went, to a, I went to a wrestling event. I went to a convention. It was a Comic-Con, actually, in Phoenix. And I was on a panel with Hulk Hogan and Sting. And I, w I was hosting it, obviously. And there was a young lady in the back towards the end of this Q&A. Um, young lady stood up in the back and introduced herself, told me her story about how her and her dad used to watch wrestling when she was a little kid. It was the only time they really got to bond together. It was her father-daughter, daddy-daughter time. And that was it for the rest of the week. She yeah. didn't more. And her father had passed away. And she just wanted to share that with me, how much her father enjoyed wrestling. Fast forward, a couple of weeks later, she f tracks down my wife through social media, sends my wife a letter, and really goes into great detail about how much watching wrestling with her father meant to her. Mm. And now that her father had passed how much more meaningful it was and how important it was for her to get a chance to say hi to me and Hulk and stick. Yeah. And then at the end of the letter, she goes, and by the way, you know, I know this will never happen, but I'm getting married <coughs> and oh. I don't have any family. My mom's gone. My dad's gone. And I'm, I'm an only child. <laughs> Jack, I still get work. <laughs> it gets me every time. <laughs> it gets me every single ah, time. I love it. And she's, she asked my wife, she says, do you think Eric would be willing to stand in for my dad? Wow. It's like, <laughs> it took me about a minute. What's the matter? I said, sure, we'll do that. Where's she getting married? Well, she happened to be getting married in Minneapolis. When, and my wife and I are from there. Where my wife is. And I thought, well, hell, it's only 1,000 miles. We'll just drive, throw the dog in a truck. We'll drive out to Minneapolis. I'm we'll, we'll walking down the aisle. We'll say hello to your family and friends, and we'll hang out. No big deal. And she has since become a really, really good friend of our family. Wow. And that's what I'm proud of. I'm proud of those moments. I'm proud of creating an opportunity for a father and a daughter to bond over something. It just happened to be wrestling in their case. But that's a, that's a god dang it. That's such a good story. <laughs> but that's the type of thing that makes me grateful for the business I was in. And I didn't appreciate it then. Like, while I was doing it, I didn't appreciate it. I mean, I liked it, don't get me wrong, but I was so busy doing it that I never stopped and went, wow, this is, this is excellent. This is good. I'm, people are working. People are enjoying this product on television. You know, we're making money. It's, you know, I never thought about it that way. I just thought about it as the thing I have to do next. Mm. And now I'm, I look at it differently, and I think the thing I'm most proud of, now I go to conventions and signings, and I'll hear a story similar to that 15 times a day, 10 times a day. Maybe not quite as compelling, but, sure. you know, I'll hear a story about how I, you know, a guy coming up, and I grew up watching wrestling with my dad, or I grew up watching with my brother, or my uncle, or my mom, or whatever, you know, and it's just, and then they tell you these stories, and it makes you pretty proud that you were able to provide that entertainment.